What's up guys? It's been a while since I've uh, updated you guys on some of the projects. So if you can remember the Comanche I was working on, well believe it or not this is the same truck. The paint job's a good 10 footer. Doesn't look too bad. Um, it's registered, it's on the road now. If it would focus. But I got the outside pretty much done. Um, got a toolbox in the back. You can see I got an, uh, the old hood from my girlfriend's Jeep in the back there. We replaced the hood with a new one. The paint was peeling off this one. Um, I got the new decals from jeepsticker.com. I'll put a link in the description for that site. They're pretty good. They got all the um, older style Jeep stickers especially for the Comanches but I got still quite a bit to do on this truck um, I gotta put the badges on like it has one for the uh, the 2.5 liter over there um, I'm gonna get a new bumper this bumper's kinda rotted it's a little bit rotted over there so I'm gonna put a new bumper on it but uh, completely rebuilt the rear re leaf springs and I put a Rusty's add a leaf in there it's got the uh, Chevy drop shackles in there so I got some height out of the back now it doesn't sag so much in the back and it rides good so um, the really only other thing left on this truck besides you know just little things here and there is the interior I gotta do a lot of work to the interior but um, put a new floor pan in the side that side still needs to be done. Um, I've got a set of eliminator bucket seats to put in here, so they'll look a lot better than these. I'm gonna swap this whole interior to gray, so the eliminator bucket seats are gray, so everything will match pretty good. But actually, uh, I use this truck to move into my house, so it actually, you know, it pretty much paid for itself already I used the thing to move and we were able to throw our furniture and bed and mattress and everything else back there and get it over here it was a great little truck for moving so yeah we just bought this house the only problem is there's no garage so probably around the springtime we'll be building a shop right in the back over here um, we're gonna put a 12 by 20 steel building. They're about 2,500 bucks. So the funds are there. We just gotta wait till the springtime before we pour the concrete slab, and then we'll have it delivered and put it in. And eventually, we'll make some kind of driveway going over here, so we'll have a shop to work on the jeeps. Um, not too much going on with this one. Still running pretty good. Got inspection due on it. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about the fluid film. I um, actually just did both the, uh, I did all three Jeeps actually, about two weeks ago. Um, I mean it held up great all winter. A lot of you guys were asking me how it held up. I only had to do about uh, probably another coat in the springtime, and then it lasted me all summer and I just did a coat now before we get to winter. Yeah as far as the fluid film goes show you my girlfriend's uh, I mean as you can see like a I don't know if you guys can see that in there but like a lot of the crap uh, just like collected on top of the uh, on top of the fluid film and I mean it's not so bad because I mean you you wipe it off and, and underneath it looks pretty much brand new so uh, it definitely kept the corrosion and the rust out Like I said, we put a new hood on this one because the paint was peeling off the other one. But yeah, no real crazy updates on the Jeeps or anything like that. They've just been running good. This one I got the uh, the ballistic fab diff cover for it. Um, we got a new swing out tire carrier latch from Rough Stuff. 
But yeah, other than that, pretty much everything's the same. No complaints. Uh, I noticed I had uh, 500 subscribers now, so I want to thank everybody for that. And uh, hopefully we'll be doing a giveaway or something pretty soon. So I just want to thank everybody for subscribing and commenting on letting me how thing, know how things are. And uh, we'll see you in the next update.